The cops charged in Freddie Gray's death wore no body cameras. What led up to their alleged failure to buckle up Gray is seen only in this brief phone video. Earlier today, to get more cops wearing cameras like the one used in Laurel, Maryland by Officer Alfie A. Cole, like the ones in Las Vegas and Salt Lake City, worn at this fire in Florida. Heavy smoke, call, tell, call it out. The Justice Department announced 20 million in grants to get body cams on cops nationwide and improve community relations. About the way our law enforcement officers interact with the residents that we are charged to serve and to protect. Citizens want police wearing video cams and most cops want the recordings. Are you all in favor of body cameras? Yes. I am. Yep. 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 As long as police don't video constantly everything they see all day long and violate privacy, the ACLU is on board. Police officers should have to turn on their cameras at the beginning of any type of law enforcement encounter with a citizen. Should we worry that police who are about to do something wrong with somebody, like allegedly Freddie Gray, might keep the cameras off then? Yes, the police should have absolutely no discretion when it comes to when they use their cameras. Now the push is to get body cams for America's 750,000 cops. Baltimore's mayor says she will launch a pilot program to get her police wearing cameras. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.